nataka kuishi hapa Kenya hiyo Kenya yenyewe unataka kufanya biashara hiyo nataka wanjira akienda hospitalini akipata mtoto aweze kurudi nyumbani na huyo mtoto mtoto akue na vaccine nataka Kenya yenye mimi gauto wewe 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 haijalishi jina yako unaweza pata kazi kwa serikali saa hizi uwezi pata hata uta... hiyo na nendane watu wanakaa hivi wakifikiria tutachoma nani amewahi toma biashara watu wote wenye wamekufa kwa hii maandamano wameuliwa na raia ama polisi biashara zote zenye zimekuwa lute zimeharibiwa kwa sababu polisi hawakuwa wanafanya kazi yao tumeona video sub guys in today's video i just wanna say subhanallah alhamdulillah for this opportunity to make another video you know there have been protests all over kenya and uh, over the period of time they have just stopped a bit but we have seen the heat people talking about these uh, uh, people talking about uh, the government and talking about uh, politicians and many sorts of things life has really become tough for people who are trying to make the ends meet but in today's video we are gonna see some aspects of few people who are championing for this change in this particular country i stand for change you have you must stand also for the change but let's discuss something here is kasamuel makore a real leader or just an activist who wants his voice to be heard this question is $1,000 question. Kuna kijana alitoka nyumbani, akakuja kunipigania na polisi akamuua. Sasa mnataka niende nichukue cheo, nitumie hiyo blood yake kutumia kama signature. Lakini ukiona tunakasirika vibaya sana kama Gen Z tunauliza, kwani sisi si sisi ni watoto wa Mungu mdogo? Kwa sababu maisha yetu ndio imepotea. Si kuona wazee kwa hiyo list. Lakini ikifika wakati wa watu kuongea wanaenda wanaongelesha wazee vile tulipoa kwa street si kuona viongozi wa kanisa ama nadanganya lakini ikifika wakati wa kuongea wanaita viongozi wa kanisa tukiwa kwa street si kuona chama yoyote ama... if you have been following things going on in Kenya at the moment now you find out that the Ke the Kenyan president has brought out names of the proposed CSS but there's something that really touches my mind and really um, like really bothers me a lot. Kenya has very learned people who can take in the positions. But why is the president still bringing in the politicians like the seasoned politicians? You see last time we had Oparanya was, was I don't know the minister of finance, the governor 10 years again has been brought back in the system. And if you listen keenly to these people's like to these people's net worth, you find that politics is not for the poor people. Politics is not for the poor people. What is your net worth? Two billion three hundred and sixty one million three hundred and thirty two two hundred and forty nine. Three hundred and eighty million. And I'm worth seven hundred and ninety million. My net worth is uh, 544 million. 156 million Kenya shillings. That one million Kenya shillings. 980 million. 455 million 845,000. And this is, the, this is the thing that angers Kenyans most. Like, if you, if you put together these people's net worth, that cabinet is worth more than 10 billion Kenya shillings. Like, like, politics is not for the poor. You understand? It doesn't matter whether you are educated, you are learned, or you are informed. Just have money. That's what this cabinet is trying to show us as Kenyans. Just have money. It doesn't matter how you got your money and where was the source of your money. Just be rich. Just be rich. And that's what Samuel Makore, Samuel Makore is, is uh, championing for. Because I've realized your CSS is going down, let me punish it, Kidogo. Remember this weekend, the CSS have been vetted. Did you watch that vetting process? Have you heard those networks? These people are multi-millionaires. Ask, ask myself a question. What do politicians produce in this country? 
apart from violence tell me honestly because i've had people say oh you know um they, they, they have a network of over 400 million kenyan shillings uh, coming from a few parcels of land and farming and coffee nyanyako amekuwa kilima kahawa why is she not a billionaire no no usijamu sikasirike nyanyako hajakuwa kilima kahawa yeah, it's totally fine uh, we, over 30 years people let's say have made 400 million again questionably however uh, in the past less than 2 years someone has made capital gains of over 200 million what business is this that they are doing that we do not know of what stock markets are these that they are investing in that are doing so well that you can do have capital gains of over 200 million in- i'm just let me tell you in kenya you have to scam people like it means that you have to scam people for you to be rich last time just not long ago a church members was scammed less than two years after when we are going through a recession but no you you're telling us not to go on the streets for nane nane right you you can't get ids but you're telling us not to go to on streets as a young person where you like ivy you have to so much sense while telling people not to go and protest for their rights yeah you you cannot get help right now you've seen what university fees look like but no people should not go on the streets right because you you think your 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 tribal kingpins have gotten into government therefore now it suddenly it means that you're in government as a young person Nane nane is gonna happen whether or not you approve of it it's gonna happen actually one thing i like about this guy is that he talks sense however much some people don't like him but he talks sense you understand you find out like people when my people like we have in my area mca come from my area politicians they don't do anything constructive first of all poverty comes first you understand they thrive when people really need something most let me tell you if you live in these rural areas and mostly everywhere you find that in those places the the roads are really bad the hospitals are in bad shape because of the devolution most of the hospitals were brought back to the county now it's the mca that should champion for the betterment of these facilities but what do they do they ensure that they come and they visit these places when there is crisis you understand and they promise people that i will make it work but when so they cannot ensure that things should run smoothly like let me tell you if you ensure that a hospital runs properly and if you if you ensure that roads are in good shape like and people as kids are going to school do you think i will take my phone and call my area mcm tell and, and, tell, and report the problems no but they want that engagement that contact that's what politicians love most and they thrive most when you are poor when you lack that service when you are in this uh, when you are in this stress that's when they feel like oh i need to contact you i said to this to myself even if my brother is vying to be a member of parliament or president but his policies he has no policy he has no vision for this for people then why should i vote him why should i vote him why should i lie to myself that this guy is capable of running the government this guy has the capacity to be a good is not so that's not my case that's not the case here but let's see more because people have turned to be the enemy of themselves you understand people like like now if you have the first degree you cannot go for the second and third because the universities have they have just come a place they, they, they've turned into places for like for laundering money like you pay a lot of money services are poor education system is down hmm. why hmm. and someone is telling you that you just you, you should respect your elders elders maka hmm. <laughs> respect elders we do you even qualify to buy an elder like guys and trust me if i set my heart and mind to do something i will achieve it we talking about this safety it was baby ryan mwendwa uh, shot at maandamano a grade 4 student he was shot in a school bus by the police 
17 year old Austin Makoha in Akuru, an autistic boy who was taking looking for his brother. Was he shot in Mandamano? Was shot by the police still. But you're telling us, oh, stay at home because it's not safe. You think those policemen have been promised a 4,000 shilling increase. It's 4,000 shillings worth brutalizing your fellow Kenyans who are fighting for your rights as well. Yeah, actually, I'm telling you that this is the time people have to stood for the right. Because let me tell you, at the moment in Kenya, for you to get an identity card, they charge extra. They charge 1,000 shillings. Just imagine, and you know that 1,000 in Kenya shillings is like is money a parent will work for three or four days to get that money. You charge an identity card, something that you just need to be printed. Last time, like not long ago, I went for a passport, another passport. We went with my, my friend went for a passport. You know what happened? He was charged 9,500. That is a 50 page passport, something that used to be like 5,000 or like, things that used to be cheap. Passport 32 page, the least passport page 32 was now, is now being charged like 7,500. Then things, these are things that are being given free in other countries. If you have, if you get an ID, then you get the passport. How do you become a patriotic to your country at the expense of and overpaying? And it's not even, you have to bribe again to get these things. That's corruption. That is this Samueli, is, is he a leader or this? When he was asked a question about Raila Amolodinga, you know Raila Amolodinga has been the broker in, this, in the system. Like he meets with this government, he gets in. Like they still his votes, he's still the government. So he's been he's been in and out of the government. And the government needs him. I don't know. Why can't Raila be the president? So that we see what really happens. But watch this video. What do you think what do you think Luanyanza is gonna be um, when Raila finally exits stage? Do you think he has existed the stage? Yeah, he's uh, he's on uh, he's on his last leg, just time wise. Mm. I think um it would be nice to see him pave the way so that we see who are going to be the new players. Um, I think he's, he's contributed to the country. He's done some great things. What has he done? Um, just in terms of, again, it's very hard to, de to defend what, a politician. What, what has Raila done, Mr. Kasmuela? It's very hard to defend a politician. That's the point. You can, you, because politicians, they have bad and the good, but you find that you cannot defend a politician. You try to defend them, the same same thing they do. So they disappoint you, you understand? Like, they're, not, they're supposed to be doing good things to the society. They, they're supposed to be doing good things to the people who elected him. But what do we get in returns? We get, we get teacher strike, doctor strike, underpaid, bad roads, bad schools, and high cost of living, like the cost of, the cost of basic needs are just going up. Like the politicians, they should be making policies that runs a country. But we come to realize that we have incompetent politicians. Why? Because they just get, they gave us money and we voted for them. So we exchanged the money with the vote. So we don't even need to cry. That's why we have to go to the street and we have to react. And this generation must stood for itself. The generation must stood for itself. The aspect thing I like about Kasamueli is his eloquence. Very eloquent and it's to the point. Members of Bunge Bunge Power. Power. Bunge Power. Power. Viva to the liberation, Viva. Viva. Viva to the people of Kenya, Viva. Viva. Nimeulizwa swali moja raisi sana. Watu wamesema kwamba nilienda kwa television nikasema I do not want peace. Nataka nirudie na nieleze what I mean by I do not want peace. Viva. Sasa hivi mnavotuona Watu wanasema we want peace lakini women are being raped in the informal settlements zenye watu wanaita slum. 
sasa lakini mnataka amani si mnataka amani tufanye biashara wakati watu wanauliwa young people wanauliwa ndugu zenu wadogo dada zenu your lovers your sisters your brothers are being shot like dogs wanatupa city mortuary wanaitwa unconfirmed bodies si ndio mnataka amani but we want peace si ndio what i said and what i meant in the television is we cannot have peace until we have liberation liberation is what ensures sisi wote tuko equal then i can say i want peace kwa sababu as long as we are not equal hakuna amani man you cannot hate this man you cannot hate i think if you hate this guy then it means that you don't have you are hating the future and the future of your kids you understand we as parents we as we as parents we have failed this generation and our generation and the generation to come because we never stood like when the country was liberated from the colonialists the people who fought for this they never enjoyed their sons and daughters grabbed the moment took it and owned it before people realized they they were old, already rich they were already rich they were dynasties hmm? they were dynasties so everyone is everyone is surviving on every day's meal like what do i need to eat what do i get to this and politics and you know the way the politics has changed is what do you bring on the table or what do you offer me because if i'm a politician i have my party i will register my party and i know that my party can't do anything but you will call me on the table right and now kenyans i'd like you to join me in the firm reminder that is our national anthem <laughs> And again this also reminds me about our national anthem. National anthem is well stipulated and it represents uh, what we what we the younger generation are now fighting for. But every time the same same people listen to this national anthem but they don't feel like they have let down our national anthem who is coming to save our national anthem because these people they are never coming to save us we have to save ourselves that's the thing if you are watching this and you have never lived in the village you will not understand what's and why you have to fight for your rights and you have to you have to see the sanity in the government this thing start with the chief you cannot report if you even report a case to your chief area chief that thing will not that the matter will not be taken seriously and will not be handled if you don't give 500 kenya shillings going up what we've been saying as a gen z the office should not depend on the morality of the office bearer kama mtu wako kwa ofisi anasema yeye ni rais whether ni rais muovu tunajua kwamba dawa ya ufisadi unapigwa risasi kwa city square <laughs> hey Eh hiyo haitawata sumbuka lakini kabila ni mbili Kenya. Najua mnafikiria ni kikui kale jinduo ni tajiri na maskini. He is also keen on corruption and corruption is the the thing that has been killing our country slowly and slowly. Last time the airport was about to be sold. Most of our industries in Kenya they have failed to work and people are jobless because those industry are no longer working because of corruption for you to get a license to do a particular thing you have to pay double or they will delay you someone can't even get a driving license because the price is supposed to be 350 but they have hiked to be 3500 that money goes into someone's pocket it's because of corruption sometimes they fail you on 
some matters to uh, on some integrity matters because you are supposed just to pay you're just supposed to give a thousand shillings so that they you don't even look into it but now that you fail to give a thousand kenya shillings and you decided to go uh, like integrity way bro you will go and come back go and come back come back and go go and come back no we say enough is enough and things has to change so if you are really motivated by this video then let's say that let's have a good leader and let's change everything because it's leadership that will really work and really save this country nothing good thank you for watching and see you in my next video and i also want to say that thank you for supporting me and my channel and i'm really happy and i want to meet you one-on-one -on -one. where are you watching from